If you stream games such as this, this is Black Myth Wukong, then having a death counter on your stream can be very beneficial to you and to your audience to see how well you are doing in the game. I will go ahead and show you the easiest way to add this type of death counter to your stream using OBS. From the link that is in the description of the video, you can go ahead and click it and it will take you to this page here. This is a GitHub for TallyCounter, a Lua script. From here, what you need to do is to go ahead and click the download zip button, which will download the zip file to your computer. Then go ahead and extract the file onto your desktop or into a specific folder. Just remember where you put it. Then back in OBS, we need to go ahead and create a text source. So locate the scene that you want the death counter to be on and under sources, hit the add source button, then select text. Give your source a name in this count. In this case, I'll use death counter, hit OK and then hit OK. Now it's time to add the tally counter. So go to tools, scripts, hit the plus icon and then go to the folder where you save the tally counter that we just downloaded. Hit open and you'll be taken to this screen here. It's just a few things to set up here. So first we need to add the text source. In this case, my text source is death counter. So I'm going to add that. Then for my format text, I don't want it to say count. So I'm going to change count to deaths. And below that you have an up button, a down button, and you can also set a starting or a starting number or a step up number. You can go ahead and close this window. Now your death counter is ready. From here, you can go ahead and further modify this just like you would any other text source. So you can open the source, you can change the font size, you can change the font color and all of those normal things. Now, how do we go ahead and use this death counter while we're playing a game? In order for us to do that, you need to go ahead and set hotkeys for this. So click settings, then go to hotkeys and then scroll down until you see tally counter. Okay, here we are. So we have a reset, a up count and a down count you want to go ahead and set hotkeys for these. So for my up count, I want to use the page up button and for my down count, I want to use page down. Hit apply and you're ready to go. Just by pressing the up count button, you can increase the number of deaths. So here we are in Black Myth Wukong and this is a game in which I die constantly. So it's a perfect game for you to use a death counter in to show your viewers how many times you've died so far in the game, right? So I'm going to go ahead now and customize this. So first I want to make it a bit smaller and I also created this background here for it. So this is something I made in Photoshop and I'm just going to drag it beneath my death counter. And then what I can do is to group this. Let me drag my death counter here. I'm just going to group both of them. And now I can move it around like this. So I would put my death counter here or down to this side here or maybe beneath like my cam. But you can put it wherever you want. And once it is there, you can just go ahead and play your game. And whenever you die, you can just increase the count like that. So persons can see how much you're struggling. If you look down there, that is the yellow wind sage. I hate him. I hate him so much. And so my death counter will just keep going up, going up like that. Cause I hate you. That's why. Come here. Ah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let's go. How do I even lock on with keyboard? I'm sorry, I normally play this with my controller and I don't know why I'm on keyboard, but... Ooh! Die, die, sir. Alright, so now that I'm dead, I just increase the counter and I continue.
So that is it. That is how easy it is for you to set up a simple death counter like this that will have a big impact on your streams.